Welcome to another episode of Whispers of Myth, where ancient echoes and cosmic whispers merge to reveal the stories woven into the fabric of our universe. Today we embark on an exploration of one of history's most compelling and complex figures, Lucifer, also known as Satan, a being whose narrative has captivated theologians, poets, and scholars alike. Join me as we venture beyond the veil, contemplating Lucifer not merely as a mythological entity, but as a potentially interdimensional being whose existence challenges our understanding of the cosmos. The tale of Lucifer begins in the celestial realms. An archangel of unmatched beauty and intelligence, adorned with the title Morning Star. His story is intrinsically linked to the concept of pride and the ultimate fall from grace, a theme that resonates through the ages. But let's delve deeper into the origins and evolution of Lucifer's character, tracing his footsteps from the annals of ancient texts to the speculative theories that frame him as more than a mere spiritual adversary. Lucifer's name, meaning Lightbringer in Latin, reveals the first layer of his complex nature. The epithet, originally associated with the planet Venus, symbolizes the duality of his being, bearer of light turned prince of darkness. Ancient texts, notably Isaiah 14, 12 to 15, provide the earliest scriptural references, allegorically linking Lucifer's fall to a Babylonian king's hubris. Yet this narrative was later reinterpreted by early Christian scholars, morphing into the story of an angelic rebellion against the divine order. The transformation of Lucifer's image through history is a fascinating journey. In Jewish traditions, the figure of Satan is not a fallen angel, but rather a celestial prosecutor, a part of God's court with a role to test the faith of humans. It is within Christian theology that Lucifer becomes synonymous with Satan, embodying rebellion, temptation, and the struggle against divine will. Delving into lesser-known texts, such as the Book of Enoch, we find the references to the Watchers, angels who descended to earth, transgressing divine boundaries. Though not explicitly linked to Lucifer, their story parallels his narrative of descent and punishment, suggesting a broader motif of celestial beings interacting with the human realm, potentially hinting at interdimensional crossing. Consider for a moment the symbolic representation of Lucifer in literature and art. From Dante's Inferno to Milton's Paradise Lost, Lucifer is portrayed as a tragic hero, a figure of enlightenment and rebellion. These cultural depictions contribute to the multidimensional tapestry of his identity, blending theology with human psychology and cosmic drama. The speculation of Lucifer as an interdimensional being invites us to ponder the nature of his influence. Could the biblical and mythological accounts of his actions represent misunderstood interactions with beings from another dimension? This perspective suggests a reinterpretation of miracles, visions, and spiritual encounters as manifestations of technology and knowledge from a realm beyond our understanding. In grappling with the mystery of Lucifer, we also encounter the essence of free will and the eternal question of good versus evil. The narrative of his fall underscores a cosmic struggle that transcends human morality, pointing to the existence of a complex, interdimensional chess game with humanity caught in the intricate moves. As we conclude our exploration of Lucifer, we're left with more questions than answers, a testament to the enduring allure of his story. Through the ages, Lucifer has been a mirror reflecting humanity's deepest fears, highest aspirations, and unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Whether viewed as a fallen angel 
or an interdimensional traveler. His legend compels us to look beyond the confines of our world and ponder the mysteries that lie in the hidden corners of the cosmos and within ourselves. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Whispers of Myth. Remember to like and subscribe.